Hello viewers, and welcome back to our Let's Play series for Battle Academy 2. I'm your host, PPGChu, and well, today we're moving on to mission number 5, I believe. We're playing the scenario titled Fester Platz. It is now, well, actually, once again, it is June 1944. The Germans are entrenched in a small town, and we have orders to advance onto them. Well, they have orders to turn that place into a fortress. So, um, I guess we'll just begin the scenario here. What I'm thinking of doing um, for this scenario is that I think I'll turn down the game difficulty, seeing as how last time we weren't exactly successful in our efforts. And the other thing is that this is quite the massive battle. Alright, so our group has been ordered to assault the city, the Germans have constructed a fortress out of this place for themselves, and well, we are uh, to expect heavy casualties and heavy fighting into, uh, we're in this area here. So, uh, yeah, this is a scenario that's shaping up for to, to be a massive engagement. With that said, I'm going to switch the game onto the easiest setting just because um, I think at this point all of us want to see the game in a slightly faster mode. So we'll do that. And uh, going from here, we get a very, very lovely cityscape to duke it out in. So um, with that said, I mean, one, one of the things I want to do here is that I think we'll just take... Uh, say perhaps a heavy note of tanks, some infantry, some, um, I guess we'll take a few mortars here as well, some flamethrowers, some, just a whole bunch of, uh, a lot of these really heavy units is what I think we'll do here. And we'll take some half tracks because a lot of our infantry inside this scenario start off on the ground, which, uh, to say the least, isn't exactly optimal. Um, going forwards from there, I think we'll take a few of these heavier IS-2 tanks, a full set of three of these um, mine uh, roller T-34s, as we've seen before. And over here on this front, I think we'll... Oh, actually, we are out of points for tanks, so I guess we'll just take two snipers, seeing as how it is uh, the only thing that we can afford, and we'll just go forwards with this battle. The main thing is that, I mean, I think we've seen a good portion of the gameplay uh, so far, and cause stemming off of that, I think we've... Wow, well, I think that you guys probably want, say, some um, shorter videos covering more of the gameplay at the same time. So, uh, with that, uh, you know, said and all, I think we'll just try to advance forwards. We'll probably stick to, say, some of the, diff the easier difficulty settings. And in general, we'll just try to uh, roll through these scenarios as uh, fast as we can. Um, going with that, checking out some of the stuff that we have inside this mission. We get a, uh, I think we've already seen all the Russian troops here once before, but um, we haven't seen a map like this in scale just yet. Uh, anyhow, the Germans are dug in. They have a nice minefield centered all along the front here, along with some tank traps amongst other things defending this uh, town. We have the objectives of capturing at least seven of the victory locations, because evidently there are nine of them. And we had to destroy 30 units within 24 turns, so I guess we'll just start things off like that. Um, we get a few new uh, commands or abilities for this battle. We can call in some TU-2 uh, heavy bombers, we'll do that. And what I think we'll do here is uh, we'll schedule some heavy bombardment onto um, wherever we can see fortifications, really, early on inside the, uh, the camp. It the battle here and we'll go forwards from there i guess i'll target the northeast side victory location here seeing as how i see a lot of these fortifications here and in addition that is um slightly farther from our from our starting positions here so it makes for an excellent place to set up for those delayed uh, artillery barrages there and going forwards from there, I guess we'll just start uh, moving our troops and start um, getting this offensive uh, moving. So I think we'll set, uh, we'll do uh, exactly that. We'll start off by sending forwards these Soviet snipers to have a look around. Over here we have some Soviet scouts positioned inside buildings. So I'll get them to use their uh, scout ability to check things out. They haven't seen any... Um, enemies so far, so I guess we'll start uh, moving some of our Soviet rifle squads closer to the, to, to the town, and we'll see what we can do here. Um, my plan for the mission is to mainly just snag these victory locations and to go with that. As you can see here, once we breach through the uh, the German lines, north side VP is actually not too far away. So um, keeping that in mind, I want to capture this location really fast. Once we do that, um, assuming that we can find a tank path through here, because they do have a lot of these tank traps set up, we'll be able to just quickly move through the map, or at least I hope we'll be able to quickly move through the map and capture these locations here and uh, here. A lot of the, um, a lot of the 
lo were a lot of the fortified kit were a lot of the sorry victory locations seem to be centered around this area over here and so uh we'll definitely make a push towards the town center as our uh, main thing inside this uh particular scenario so just keeping in mind that Currently, what I think I'll do is that I'll keep the vast majority of our guys moving fairly cautiously. In this area of the map, I don't think we'll need the heavy uh, IS-2 tanks, so I'll send them somewhere else. And in the meantime, I think we'll get uh, a single mine clearer tank to move forwards here. And I guess we'll get them, um, the flamethrower tanks as well. So we'll do exactly that. In the center of the map here... Ooh. Yikes. There is a AT gun close by here, so they already have a defensive line fairly close by in that case we'll see what we can do about scouting that line out and afterwards we'll see what we can do about breaching say the minefields over here which um don't have as many of those tank traps uh, present as over there and this is of course a easy way to get uh, get our armored vehicles into the enemy lines of course so uh we'll see exactly what we can do about uh some of the things here. We have a lot of scouts here as well, so we'll get these guys to probe forwards. And would you look at that? We've uh, spotted a German half track. So we'll get our T-34s to move up here. And let's see how well we can do about um, killing this thing. Get the tanks to race forwards. Unfortunately, they're not going to have um, terribly great accuracy because they're moving uh, fast here. But either way, see what we can do and I'm gonna play it cautiously cautiously we're as cautious as I can for the first few moves here we'll let our guys spot that pack AT gun take that thing out and ooh they're moving towards that uh, half or yeah that half track and we'll just try to find the first line of German uh, defenders here and oh that's right our bomber gets called in right now so now we can witness the power of Bomber strike. And would you look at that? That just craters the entirety of this area and knocks out a whole bunch of buildings. So that is very good for us. Uh, going from there, it looks like our snipers have the uh, the opportunity of picking off a few of these German uh, troops. I think we'll get them to do exactly that, and we'll get them to ooh one shot the AT gun over there. So. Going forwards, let's get some fire onto that German infantry squad, just like that. And we'll send in the second mine clearer. Hopefully it'll be able to break, breach the mine uh, layers here for the infantry shortly enough. And would you look at that, another routed uh, German squad. So that's also pretty good. Over here, let's get this mine clearer to breach the line over here. And I'll get it to drive back. That should clear the way for some infantry units and we'll get them to make their uh, jab here and overall let's see these are actually sappers so they should be able to break through over here as well and we'll get them to do exactly that so we'll see we'll see what we can do about um, this area as well I think there were yeah there's some German troops on this line as well they're either in this spot next to these tank traps or in, they're inside the building not really sure which one out of the two it is I guess we can do that to um, sniff them out I guess and we'll just continue down the line here we really want to take out that yeah there we go so take out the uh, half track over there clear out some more mines and ooh, clear a minefield and deflect some panzer shrek shots as well Luckily, we'll play on the uh, the easy difficulty, or else that would have been uh, probably one dead uh, mine roller tank for us. So we'll move. We'll try to get rid of this Panzer Shrek team as best as we can. It's gonna fire back, but man, it's just at the very edge of uh, being fully suppressed now. And there we go. Now it's fully suppressed, so shouldn't do too much more than that. Uh, let's see, so our tanks are set up here. I'll get them to advance now that the AT gun is dead. And because we only have a limited amount of half-tracks, what I think I'll do here is that I'll just keep a lot of our infantrymen inside their current locations for now. And I'll get these uh, half-tracks to shuttle uh, infantrymen forwards and back, really. So uh, with that said, starting off, we'll get 
a lot of our guys to move through here. Um, or a lot of our half tracks, sorry, to move onto the road here. I'm tad tired right now, is the thing. To, uh, to set up, we'll get the tanks and infantrymen to make a break here, and I'll see what we can do in shuttling troops uh, forwards and back like that. But for now, German MGs are gonna open up. Ooh. Two MG 34s are gonna open up, alright. And they can see us with uh, and they can show too. They also have some mortars nearby too, I guess. All right. So let's see. I'm gonna guess that the mortars are actually out here inside these little fortification bits. I mean, the past scenarios that is uh, that seems to be how they uh, set up their their guys. So that'll be good to know. And yeah, there are definitely uh, people inside here. So that is one of the artillery barrages. Now we just have to wait until the Katusha volley comes in, and everything should be uh, good there. Let's get this mind roller uh, tank to suppress that troop. Let's get it to clear this section of mines. There we go. So that'll give our infantrymen another uh, hole to go into, and this one will clear out this area shortly. In the meantime, I have two advances. And smokes out the... Uh, oh, that's right, we don't have the fast movement penalties in, um, in the easiest mode, so this would be really nice. We can... Uh, I guess we can really turbo uh, the tanks forwards here. So, I guess we'll, we'll see what happens with that. We'll, we'll advance here, assault some Panzer Shreks, take the place, check out the buildings adjacent to here. Let's just get the scouts to uh, scurry around that minefield. We'll go in here through here. Yeah, the one thing is that I really want to um, conserve time here, and I really want to uh, just get the uh, the Let's Play going and progressing through the missions here. So we'll push through some guys just like that, likewise over here. And ooh, found some engineers. Let's see, I'll bring up the flamethrower tank. Unfortunately, that is going to be out of uh, flamethrower range, though. Either way, we'll... Um, Drop a few volleys in there, and we'll get the infantry squad here to... Uh, actually, they can't really move here. Well, no, maybe. We'll get this mon mon uh, pile of mines cleared so that the infantrymen can push through here. And that'll make it easy going in terms of uh, moving towards those guys. And let's see... Oh, another AT gun. That's probably inside that light fortifications uh, zone where else it would have opened up on us already. And let's see, the secondary weapons on our T-34 are now disabled uh, here. I guess we'll just get it to fire off at the MG. And would you look at that? It's easy mode, folks. One-shot kills on those MGs. Um, so that'll be good. And apart from that, there's... Uh, I guess we could get one of the T-34s to move through here. Actually, we could get both of these tanks to stack up. And I think that'll be the end of this turn. So let's see what happens. They are gonna retreat from this area. Oh, and they're gonna drop more mortars on us. How typical. Ah, speaking about mortars, I believe we also have some of our own. Huh? Katusha volley's coming in. It's, um... It's slipping into our own zones over here as well. Would you look at that? The, uh, the buildings take some damage, or take a damage as it happens. Yeah, we do have some mortars over here. And with that said, I think we'll use them. I'll see whether or not we can perhaps pin down the um, the enemy troops over here. And, well, what luck. There was, uh, yeah, that, uh, that is actually the, uh, the German AT gun right there, so that's good. At least we'll clear out that area, and I'll get the uh, the rest of the fire to suppress a few things here and there as well. And ooh, I didn't notice this tile before. There are no tank traps there. That would be uh, a very valid place to send through our mine clearers and infantrymen in some time. So we'll see. Over here, I guess we'll just breach this section of the minefield for now. And let's see. Let's see. I'm just really uh, clearing these. <laughs> I'm just clearing the mines for the for the hell of it, really, at this point. But I think we 
we don't really need our mind clears anymore at this point, actually. So I guess we'll send this one around to uh, deal with the mining with uh, the mining detail over there. And in the meantime, let's see what we can do about really getting into this village. So we'll send over a scout team to check out this area. And likewise over here. The back route over here might also be a nice avenue advance for our tanks. There's, uh, yeah, we could clear this area out. And I'm going to check whether or not there are any spots over the river, but it doesn't look like there are. So, yeah, that's not too terribly great. I guess in the meantime, we'll we'll get our tanks facing, we'll get one tank facing this direction to cover that area. And I'll get the other T-34 to sneak through here, and I'll see what we can do about this area. It looks like they set up some sort of a roadblock over here, though. So that's kind of cool to see, though I don't know whether or not that has any um, actual use. So that's that. And over here, let's get our infantrymen to dash forwards, take these buildings, and would you look at that? We found some fleeing German engineers. So, sorry folks, we're going to uh, yeah, just clear those guys out. I'll get the Soviet sniper to move forwards and see what he, uh, he finds. And we found another vulnerable German infantry squad. We're going to assault this on easy mode. I think we get a... Uh, a pretty hefty flat bonus to the salt chance, so we can just clear it out like that. And that is another portion of this area cleared off, and we'll get the objective tower as well. That's of course the important thing here. So, um, let's see, what else can we do? This area will be cleared of mines shortly, not that it really matters, since that we have the objective now. And I guess with, uh, with that in mind, we'll get some of the people to move forward slightly. In the meantime, this is uh, this is probably the area that we want to work in. And with that said, let's get some of these... Ooh, that would be really costly if we lost this half-track, especially with uh, if there's a chance that um, the troops inside it will be killed. But I wanted to move forward some of these um, Assault LMG, uh, SMG squads here. Because we want to... Um, yeah, we want to get some infantry deployed inside this area, and we'll see what we can do about getting the infantry to um, scout forwards for the tanks and to get the tanks to kill everything uh, that the infantry can't deal with. So I dropped down a few of these uh, Soviet assault, uh, assault slash infantry uh, rifle squads for now and I'll get the first batch of these uh, half tracks to go back right now to pick up some of the other guys in the rear. So you're right, we'll send those guys like that and I guess this will be the end of this turn. Taking a lot of fire. Ooh, that is not good <laughs> for them. Yeah, personally, I would have chose to uh, hide inside the buildings, but um, that works. Not really. And let's see, we're taking a lot of fire over here, so there's definitely some infantrymen still defending the uh, the outskirts of town. And going off the sounds, there are indeed a few enemy vehicles probing around here. We'll see what's uh, over here. I'll get my infantry uh, squad to move forwards here. And would you look at that? There is a pack anti-tank gun and a stug waiting inside this area. Let's see what they can do. Um, again, <laughs> using the uh, the benefits of easy mode. I'm gonna see whether or not they can make an assault here. And uh, just, yeah, push through like that. Unfortunately, they weren't. But now we can uh, bring one of our T-34s through. And with the remarkable easy mode accuracy and low reaction times of these tanks, we'll be able to fry them just like that. So yeah, that's it's kind of good. And ooh, found some more infantry in the back here. Don't think we'll be able to deal with these guys just yet. We have to suppress them though. So that's one thing. Uh, from yeah, from the looks of it, there's some guys inside this building right here. So we'll put down a few. Um, Uh, what, what am I saying here? HE shots into that building. Just right now. Clear out this mining, or that, yeah, this tile. And let's see what we can do here. So get some infantrymen to move forwards, see what they can find, and ooh. They're not inside the tile, but they're uh, adjacent to it. They're not inside that building. They're adjacent to it, so that's, oh, that's kind of weird. But alright, we'll assault them, we'll take the position, and we'll cap that right off. 
And we found another AT gun. Let's see. It's these guys who spotted it. So it's a it's a light 50 millimeter pack, pack 38. It would be uh, it would have been quite um, formidable going up against some of say the Allied tanks, but against our IS-2 it probably isn't. The thing with it is that our IS-2 is actually out of um, it's out of steam right now. It's out of um, usable uh, shots here, so I think we'll just get it to back off for now. And over here, let's push some of the infantry through, see what we can find. And would you look at that? We found an MG. Get these guys to suppress it. And there we go. It's exactly at 50% uh, morale. So that's just that. Over here inside north side, what I think we'll do is that since we've already captured this victory location, we don't need to do much else from it. So I think I'll just post these two uh, Soviet rifle units and we'll just keep them there, really. In the meantime, I guess we'll just, uh, yeah, we'll, t we'll kill off a few of the enemy units inside this area just to fill up that 30 unit um, pool that we need to uh, take. And in the meantime, we'll just get... Uh, the great ferry of tro troops to continue and we'll escort uh, yeah, some more half-tracks into the town. So that'll just happen um, nice and smoothly and I guess we'll move the uh, the flamethrower tank into this region as well. And ooh, we still have a LMG team over here, we might as well get that to move as well. Now let's see what they do. Hmm. Oh, I see. They're still brawling it out with the MG42. Huh? And more mortars, nonetheless. Okay. There we go. Now it should be uh, back to our turn. And yeah, it seems as though they're... There is indeed a very high uh, chance that, there are, that these um, these light fortifications are like mortar pits or something like that. So uh, we'll work off of that note. Let's see what we can do about suppressing this um, pack anti-tank gun. And in addition to that, we'll try to uh, move our guys forwards here. You know what? I think I'll just charge this AT gun. I mean, quite honestly, since it's uh, easy mode and all, we probably will be able to uh, be quite successful in that. Endeavor. I guess we'll get our guys just to advance forwards, capture this building uh, sector. And over here, let's make an assault. There we go. Finally, those assaults are going our way. Take them to this location. I'm getting our artillery guns to follow our infantrymen. And let's see, we could use a rally on this sector or with this unit. So we'll rally them up. See a single German infantry unit. That is, uh, well, we can drive our tanks forwards here. And fire it onto them like that, so I guess this works. So there we go, suppress them. We can get our guys to ooh, hopefully make a make their way over here into those buildings, but I guess not. Right, so I guess we'll have to deal with this uh, this group over here now. Let's see whether or not our Soviet scouts can um, can actually hit them for one thing. But either way, we'll see whether or not we can drain their morale and kill them like that. Oh, actually, we could have just fired them off. Uh, could have hit him from here all along, so I guess we'll just do that right now. Get some infantrymen to go into the breach here, see what they can find, and I'm guessing that yeah, these roadblock areas over here are covered. Oh, I see, it's directional cover too. So that's quite intrigued. That's yeah, that's nice to know, I guess. Hmm. And for now, I think we'll just um, get those guys moving there. And over here in this region, I'm going to pick up some of these infantry units. And I'm going to move them forwards uh, back into the pack here. Likewise, more half-tracks. So there we go. 